how we do it. Hi, my name is Ted and this is Food Comes From Farms. Today we're going to meet the mother pigs called sows that give birth to the next generation of baby back ribs. Let's go check it out. So now we're out here on the sow farm, right Derek, and uh, some other folks back here? Yes, we're actually on the sow farm, which is actually where my parents live. Um, actually, we have my brother and sister-in-law and a couple nephews and my parents. Oh great, look forward to meeting them too. And uh, how long has the family been into farming? Uh, we've been in farming for many generations and uh, actually we've been on this site since about the early, late 70s. Wow, so multi-generational. Absolutely. Very cool. And the sow barn right over here? Yep, just right around the way, right down the way here. All right, take me to it. All right, here we go. Okay, Derek, here we are at the sow barn. A pretty big building. How many animals you got in there? 750. 750 sows? Yes. Wow, and there's no windows. Is that okay? Yeah. No, we want to keep the environment controlled, we, even with the lighting. So we use these fans to provide plenty of fresh air uh, so they can stay very comfortable. Okay, great. Sounds good. And you got some rock here too up against the building. Why is that? Yes, we want to make sure that we provide for biosecurity measures. We want to make sure we keep rodents away from the building, and that's what that barrier helps do that. Sounds good. Can we go in and see them? You bet. Let's go. All right, well now we're over here at the sow barn. It took another shower. I'm probably the cleanest guy on earth, Derek, but uh, why is that? Well, that's the measures we need to go to to maintain strict biosecurity. Uh, uh -huh. It's very important to be clean coming in the barn. That way we don't carry over any disease. We want to make sure we have, create a good environment for the sows to uh, maintain pregnancy. Sounds good. Got our coveralls on, got the plastic boots. We're protected. Absolutely. Ready to go. Uh, that is the first step in the, after the shower is to make sure we have clean clothes on. And now these are the sows. That is correct. Uh, we are now here in uh, the gestation barn. Uh, where the pregnant sows are cared for until birth. Okay, and uh, we're following kind of the trail of where we were before at the Borstead farm, and you have yep, the uh, I, semen Yep, I do have those semen here okay. that we are going to get ready to breed a sow as we walk to where they're at. All right. Um, but as you see, uh, we have individual gestation stalls because we want to be able to care for the animals and watch their individual needs as we come along here every day to make sure they're getting the exact nutrition they need in order to maintain a healthy pregnancy. So that's one of the reasons you keep them separate. Are they comfortable in there? Oh, absolutely. Look okay. at how calm they are. Yeah. Um, very, uh, um, got a lot of good fresh air coming down because we make sure ventilation's good. Yeah, they're not and disturbed by us here. They're not squealing or anything. So, nope. so they just like, uh, now they're just kind of curious why they're up. All right, so, so you're ready to uh, go breed a sow? Let's go find the big sow. So here we are now at the breeding area, right? Yep. And uh, what's going on here? Well, we're, we're artificially mating a, a sow here, um, and the reason why we do that is because we boars can be very challenging. They're big animals, and they like to be a little, little uh, joyful at times, and so we want to make sure we protect the mother uh, from yeah. a status and structure standpoint. So you never let a boar actually come in the pen here? No. They're okay. always on the sideline, and so they get a little smell from them, but they actually don't ever get mounted, and it's much better on their structure, feet and legs, and Safer. it really reduces a lot of injuries. Okay, and what's that thing on the back? That is the uh, breeding rod and actually a dose of semen that we got earlier this morning from the stud. All right, there you go. And uh, she's gonna be pregnant now. Absolutely. And right. so, yeah, so you see how calm and relaxed she is and just a little stimulation helps that impregnation process. That leads to the babies who we're gonna go see next, right? Absolutely. Okay. So as you can see, the scientific method is much easier on everyone involved. Join us next time to see the fruits of this scientific union, piglets.